Hello friends, today we discuss about how to derive equation for velocity of sound wave in a fluid. So first consider stationary compressible fluid in a constant area of rigid pipe. Assume that with the help of some device, for example piston, a small increase in pressure dp is achieved by moving the piston to the right at uniform velocity u and for small interval time dt. So because of this piston movement the disturbance creates and because of this disturbance the disturbance creates the pressure wave in a fluid. This pressure wave travel with a velocity of sound velocity of sound in all direction but for simplicity we consider only one direction so in step number one define terms and find distance traveled by the piston and distance traveled by the pressure wave in time dt so first u is equal to velocity of piston so u is equal to velocity of piston p means pressure of fluid in pipe before the movement of the piston rho means density of fluid before the movement of the piston c means velocity of sound wave or you can say pressure wave traveling in the fluid and dt means a small interval of time with which piston is moved and A means cross sectional area of the pipe. Again I repeat first consider stationary compressible fluid in a constant area rigid pipe. With the help of some device for example piston a small increase in pressure dp is achieved by moving the piston to the right at uniform velocity u and small interval time dt and because of this piston movement disturbance creates and the disturbance creates the pressure wave in a fluid and then this pressure wave travel with a velocity of sound wave in all direction but for simplicity we consider only one direction so first step define terms and find distance traveled by the piston in time dt so we know that velocity is equal to distance per unit time so uh, piston velocity we know that we assume that that is u so u is equal to distance per time time we consider small interval time that is dt so in place of time we write dt so distance traveled by the piston that is x is equal to u dt so here we write distance traveled by the piston that is x is equal to u dt similarly we find in time dt distance traveled by the pressure wave again velocity is equal to distance per time so velocity of pressure wave or you can say velocity of sound wave that is c so c is equal to distance per unit time that is distance per time interval that is we consider dt so distance traveled by the pressure wave that is l so l is equal to c into dt so first step define terms and find distance traveled by the piston and distance traveled by the pressure wave in time dt here distance traveled by the pressure wave that is l and distance traveled by the piston that is x so fluid will be compressed in the length of l minus x and because of this compression the pressure and density of the fluid will change we know that pressure before compression that is p so pressure after compression that is p plus dp similarly density after compression that is rho plus d rho in step number two find mass of fluid before compression and after compression so mass of fluid before compression for a length l 
we know that density is equal to mass per unit volume so mass of fluid before compression that is rho multiply volume so volume of fluid up to length l we know that volume means area into length so here rho into a into l but we know that distance traveled by the pressure wave that is l is equal to c into dt so mass of fluid before compression that is rho a in place of l we write c into dt similarly we find mass of fluid after compression for length l minus x so mass of fluid after compression that is density after compression multiply area multiply length after compression so density after compression we know that that is rho plus d rho area as it is length after compression that is l minus x so rho plus d rho a in place of l we can write c into dt and in place of x we can write u into dt because x is equal to distance traveled by the piston that we find that we already find u into dt so mass of fluid after compression for length l minus x that is rho plus d rho multiply a multiply c dt minus u dt in step number three apply continuity equation concept we know that continuity equation is based on the principle of conservation of mass that means mass of fluid before compression and mass of fluid after compression will be equal so mass of fluid before compression equal to mass of fluid after compression put the value of mass of fluid before compression that we already find that is rho a c d t so rho a c d t is equal to mass of fluid after compression that is rho plus d rho a c d t minus u d t but here time interval is same in both the case so rearrange this equation rho a c d t is equal to rho plus d rho a time interval same so d t c minus u so both side a into dt cancel out so here rho c is equal to rho c is equal to rho plus d rho c minus u so rho c uh, uh, simplify this equation so rho into c that is rho c minus rho u plus c d rho minus u d rho so rho c rho c cancel out both side so c d rho is equal to rho u plus u d rho but we know that velocity of piston is much less than that velocity of sound wave that's why u into d rho will be very very small and can be neglected so c d rho is equal to rho multiply u now in step number four applying impulse momentum equation what is the formula for impulse momentum equation that is net force on the fluid is equal to rate of change of momentum how this equation derive we know that momentum is equal to mass into velocity so rate of change of momentum is equal to mass into velocity divided by time we know that velocity per unit time that is acceleration so ma is equal to net force on the fluid so we can say that net force on the fluid is equal to rate of change of momentum so we first find net force on the fluid we know that before compression pressure force we know that pressure is equal to force per unit area so pressure force is equal to pressure into area so before compression pressure force is equal to p into a similarly after compression pressure force is equal to p plus dp into a because after compression pressure is p plus dp so put this value in the equation net force on the fluid is equal to rate of change of momentum so net force is equal to p plus dp into a minus p into a so put the value p plus dp into a minus p into a is equal to rate of change of momentum we know that rate of change of momentum that is total mass divided by time multiply change of velocity so total mass divided by time so velocity here we consider u minus zero so simplify this equation 
P into A plus dP into A minus P into A is equal to total mass. We know that density is equal to mass per unit volume. So total mass is equal to density multiply volume. And in place of volume, we can write area into length. So total mass that equation becomes rho A L. So rho A L divided by time interval we consider dt u minus 0. So here simplify this equation again PA PA cancel out so remaining is dp into a is equal to rho a divided by dt as it is in place of l we can write c into dt into u so time interval cancel out so rho a c u so dp into a is equal to rho a c u so dp is equal to a a cancel out so dp is equal to rho c u so c is equal to dp divided by rho into u so c is equal to dp divided by rho into u then multiplying this equation c into d rho is equal to rho into u and c is equal to dp divided by rho into u so multiplying this equation we get c into d rho into c is equal to rho into u multiply dp divided by rho into u so rho u rho u cancel out so c into c that is c square d rho is equal to dp so c square is equal to dp divided by d rho so c is equal to under root dp divided by d rho so we can say that this is the equation of velocity of sound wave so velocity of sound wave is equal to the square root of the ratio of change of pressure to the change of density of a fluid due to disturbance so in this way we easily derive equation of velocity of sound wave so this equation easily remember step by step in first step we in first step we define terms and find distance traveled by the piston and distance traveled by the pressure wave in time dt in step number two find mass of fluid before compression and after compression in step number three apply continuity equation concept and in step number four apply impulse momentum equation then you derive c is equal to under root dp divided by d rho so in this way you easily remember this equation Thank you.